Shout out to Moto Camp Nerd, the sponsor of today's video. If you head on over to motocampnerd.com and use the code MAGPIE at checkout, you can get 10% off of your order. The Dalles, Oregon. It's a beautiful day. I think it's a full on 53 degrees or something close to that. It feels like a heat wave. It feels incredible. The sky is blue and we are going camping. <laughs> We're gonna head south. We're gonna head towards Maupin and see if we can't find a campsite that is open. It's currently March. A lot of BLM sites are closed for the season. So we are, we're gonna cross our fingers and see how our luck goes. But first, it's snack time. It just occurred to me that my helmet is not the same color as my bike. I, I swear I didn't do that on purpose. <laughs> We're testing out a couple pieces of new gear today. We got the breath box in my Scorpion 18950. Same helmet, different color. <laughs> We've got the new Cita Summit Water Cell X, the four liter one. Um, I'm very excited about it. It fits very nicely on my seat. So far, so good. I've also brought a new sleeping bag this time. It's a synthetic sleeping bag. Haven't used a synthetic sleeping bag in a very long time, so this will be interesting. And it'll be the first proper test run for my new Cita Summit Alpha Pan. Oh, and I got a kettle. <laughs> so many new things. So you can, you can understand why I decided we were gonna go camping even though it's March. <laughs> it's probably gonna get below freezing tonight. We'll be fine. <laughs> Also, still picking the classiest spots to take my breaks. Can't stop, won't stop. Welcome to home for the night. We're actually not that far outside of town, but it's pretty. It's a good bailout just in case my gear doesn't work. <laughs> There's only like two other people here. Not too bad. Not as alone as I wanted to be being it's the middle of the week, but better than being surrounded by people staring at me talking to a camera. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go pay for my site and then we'll set up the tent and then we'll get to cooking. It's like four o'clock, you guys. I think this is the earliest I've ever gotten to camp, ever. Just don't, don't. 
also brought a close cell foam mat to put underneath of my air pad to add just a little bit more insulation to make sure that I wasn't going to be cold. It's actually like 60 some degrees in Maupin right now and it feels like a heat wave, but I know looking at the weather reports that it's going to get really cold tonight. So I wanted to make sure that I was extra prepared. I would rather be super toasty rather than frozen. So. A couple more new pieces of gear. I've got my new snug packs and bag all stuffed up in the stuff sack. And I've also got a new pillow, which I'm very excited about. I've been using my old pillow for a while now, and I'm excited to see if this actually does any better. My thing with air pillows is that you either have too much air in them and they're too hard, or you don't have enough air in them. So your head just keeps flopping all over the place. And the trick is to get just the right amount of air. <laughs> so this is my first time sleeping with a synthetic fill sleeping bag since I was like 12. It's been a long time. <laughs> it's like me. I got the one that's rated down to 23 degrees. Supposedly it's supposed to go as low as 14. My other down sleeping bag that I've had for ages is rated down to 28 degrees. So we'll see if how this goes. I did bring my rumple blanket just in case I was cold. <laughs> it's important to have backups when you're testing the gear, okay? Probably the funniest thing about this whole <laughs> situation is that I took a bunch of uh, food photography classes on Skillshare before in preparation for this trip so I could make my food look really fancy and glamorous. And it's too dark to do any of that. That's okay. I have breakfast to redeem myself. I made chili. I made five can chili. And I only put like two pieces of pepper in and it's still way too hot. <laughs> morning. I'm definitely glad that I brought the rumple. I needed it. I definitely got down to the 30s last night and I stuffed all my clothes into my sleeping bag. I wouldn't say that it did any worse than my down 20 degree bag, but I also wouldn't say it did any better. <laughs> I definitely don't have the rumple with me on most of my trips. I normally just stuff like everything into my sleeping bag, so... But I definitely needed the rumple last night. <laughs> just, just the clothes and stuffing into the sleeping bag was not enough.
behind the scenes magic. I'm making shakshuka for breakfast. Ha, ah, had my tea, we're making breakfast. Over here, there's an older couple in the van there. They were so lovely, they came over and checked on me last night to see what I was doing with all of these cameras. <laughs> and then this morning they came and stopped by and gave me a bunch of awesome places to go check out in Utah, which is so lovely. They were very friendly. They're, they've gone on a bicycle ride now. It's actually really nice. Once the sun came out and heated up my tent, it got, it was much better. When I woke up at like 6.30 this morning, it was like 34 degrees or something. Not, not ideal. Also, loving my new Cedar Summit water cell. The cap is like a twist, so this way it's open and this way it's closed. It's very interesting. Just a quick pick stop in the Dalles to put on my heated base layers before I head down the gorge because it's going to be cold. All right, beautiful people, I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Remember to use my code MAGPIE for 10% off your order at motocampnerd.com and end screen crew question. <laughs> what was the color of the fisherman's jacket? If you have to scroll back and check, I won't dock any points. I know it's the first camping trip of the season because I forgot a pen and I forgot the ground cloth for my tent. Should we start like a counter pen ground cloth?